Hi, I'm Seneca, and I'm going to demonstrate my version of how to defeat Wavebreaker in Jagged Alliance Online. I'm the leader of Dazed and Confused Alliance, and currently we're in the top five in every category on the leaderboards. I hope it stays that way. <clears throat> There's uh, two reasons for this demonstration. Number one, I've come up with a way to beat uh, Wavebreaker that oftentimes I am able to do without taking a single shot from the, the opponents. Um, also, in doing so, I also get to the G-Man and get some of the good epic and legendary drops that way. Uh, I do this without using any legendary or epic equipment. All the equipment that I take in is stuff that you can craft or pick up along the way to getting to level 50 where Wavebreaker becomes available to you. I use a rare level equipment. All of my can't. What's most important is not how much protection my armor gives, but how much camo it gives. And it's got to be all urban camo. My weapons are the M93-1, which I crafted for a silencer to make it as quiet as possible. It's not totally silent. It uh, has a drawback that if you get too close, they will hear you and come at you real quickly. Uh, so I also carry an M1 Garen X1 also crafted to be silent. Um, it's much quieter than the 93 and basically about they have to be about 30 percent closer to hear that one. So if I'm all the way across the room I'm using the M93. If it's closer than that I'm using the X1 M1. If it's uh, too close I don't shoot at all. I either move or wait for them to move away. All of my mercenaries are equipped basically identical. Some changes in the armor and uh, and helmets because I don't have enough equipment to go around to, for them all to be equipped identically, but they all have the same weapons and similar armor. Let's get started. The thing about Wavebreaker is a lot of people have watched the videos on YouTube and they give you the completely mislead you in my opinion. They show you how to beat the um, the battle but they do not show you how to do it so that you get the maximum benefit. If you kill any one of the soldiers out there, um, and by that I mean the anyone that's listed in green and I'll point them out in just a second. First of all you notice that I am taking all of my mercenaries to three very distant points from each other and, and get them all looking towards the center. Well, I can't do wild card yet, but cannot hit any one of these until after you have hit killed Poseidon if you want to get spawn the G-Man. And that's where you get all your real good equipment from. You can win the the battle and get your points for that without having to worry about that, in which case you follow the guidelines of the other um, online um, YouTubes and so forth. But uh, we're going to do this so that we get the G-Man. To do that, we have to take out the wave first. We're going to do this with our M93s. And we're going to be very patient. We're not going to try and force anything. We're going to just take our shots at this and then once it's done we're going to spawn I'm going to leave her with some points just in case I need to move her right away we're going to spawn the four horsemen and they'll be either on the right hand side or the left hand side by splitting my mercenaries out like this there's always at least two of them that are not too close to them the third one will try to hide uh, as much as possible until they move away or can be knocked off one by one at a time by the others. So either wild card or shadow will be stationary and as quiet as can be once uh, we spawn the four horsemen, which will happen right after I take out bullseye here. Okay. I thought I might get it on that turn. Okay, there goes Bullseye. He's down. Now, 
I'm going to take wild card. I'm going to move him a little bit more to the middle of the room so that if they do come out on his side, the pillar there will keep will protect him from their line of sight. He'll be almost invisible. Uh, Shadow here, I can't move him in, behind a pillar very easily, so he's just going to have to take his chances. He may or may not get spotted. The best way to keep him from getting spotted is to kill one of the other uh, horsemen further away from him, but they don't always offer good shots. So let's go ahead and end our turn and see where they come out. Okay, they're on the left. That's really the best side for us. It's the easiest for us to defeat this and possibly do it without it taking any hits. Every time I've done it without getting hit, it's, they spawn on the left. First thing to do is to take scope and get her out of their line of sight. Let's bring her over real close to uh, Shadow here. Now we're going to just, those two are just going to sit from there and shoot until um, we see where Poseidon is. And then we may have to move, we may not. Okay, I prefer to take out War since he's further away. So we're just going to end our turn and let them just sit there for a while. And Scope is going to get a clean shot at War here and try and distract everyone's attention to that corner of the room. And no good shot that time. Patience makes a big difference in this one. As soon as War is killed, Poseidon and another gunner will be spawned. And we will have to see what side they come out. They may come out on the left here. Or they may come out on the opposite side. It's best for us if they come out on the left. Keep them all together. We can just pick them off one by one and never get touched. Never get noticed. Okay, as soon as we end our turn, now let's move scope. A little bit away in case they come out on that far side. We'll try and hide still. Okay, and they're drawing the attention of a lot of the enemies there, and it's now our turn, and Scope's going to look around and see where we spawn Poseidon. It's not on the left. If it's not on the left, it's got to be on the right, so she's going to stay right over here in the corner with Shadow. And now it doesn't matter if we kill the horseman first or Poseidon, but we've got to kill Poseidon before we can kill any of the greens. So, who do we have clean shots at? Right now, I don't, well, prefer not to take death out there, but eh, well, let's do it anyway. That means I need to take wild card and get him as far from there as I can because they're going to converge on that area. I didn't mean to move him there. I wanted to just look there. Okay, he's all right. We didn't get spotted. We do have an enemy there, though. All right, Scope, come on down here a little bit and let's see what you can spot with your vision there. Okay, we see Poseidon. Let's start working on taking Poseidon. He's going to take a whole bunch of shots, no matter how good the shot you are. You're not going to get them in just one or two. That's just a fact of life. I do, I do almost, when I'm working with them 93s, I do almost all headshots. Much quicker that way, but it's still going to take a long time to get him out. As soon as he's out, the G-Man spawns. You can kill the G-Man right away and 
just go home or you can finish them all off. It really doesn't matter. Uh, you like to finish them off because every once in a while you get a good drop from one of the others too. And we'll just take our time here. Kill Poseidon off as uh, at our own sweet time. Okay, now we've gone past the armor and actually done an injury to him. He will start turning around now. No big deal. His perception is no better. He still won't see us or hear us. And at this point, there's not much more to tell you except that we are going to do our best to uh, stay out of their hearing range and, and shoot them all off with snipers like we're doing right now. And if we're really careful, we should be able to kill everybody without ever being spotted or shot at. And uh, include now the G-Man could spot it, could spawn at any one of those four doors and whichever one he comes in at we just gotta make sure that we spot him and knock him off right away otherwise he will draw a crowd and increase the likelihood of us getting spotted typically he spawns pretty far away from where I have the mercs if I have them in a group like this. And he'll probably come up in the corner over there. But that's just a guess. Okay, Poseidon's just about had it. Two more shots, I think I'll do it. And that means I'll finish him next turn. Okay, let's finish off Poseidon. Okay, now we have enough action points to take a, another shot. Let's see if we can get knock Pestilence out of it at the same time. Got him. Okay, see where they spawn it. I'm going to ignore all the interruptions. I don't want to go out half cocked in the middle of a turn. Okay. I don't see the G-Man. Anyway, at this point, it doesn't matter what order we kill them in, so we can just shoot at anybody. And we don't even have to take headshots anymore, because body shots work just as effectively. They don't have any armor on. So let's just work our way across the room and kill them all. This is going to be a good one. If I'm not, if I'm careful at all, we should get, finish this one with absolutely no hits. Mm 
Ooh. Got two drops out of that bunch. That's promising. This is a really, uh, this one's working out really well. I won't even have to go to the M1s. Managed to keep my distance enough the whole time to do the whole thing with the M93s. That's rare. Usually I have to go to the M1s. But I like it when I can stay with the M93s. It finishes them off much more quickly. And we should be pretty close now. And with the uh, G-Man being at the end there, we're very possibly going to get a good drop from him too. And there's the G-Man. Bring him up the rear. Get to fight him last, I guess. There may be one or two other mercs, but not too many. And uh, we'll finish him off first if we can. Just have to find them. Oh, yeah. I forgot about famine. We'll just have to do him into. The nicest thing about finishing this, this system without losing any men is that, uh, okay, now we're going to go to the M1s. So They're getting closer is that you have enough people that all the loot that's in here, you can carry it out. You don't have to leave anything behind. And one time. We'll knock the rest of them off first so we can just use the M93s on uh, Famine. It'll go so much faster. There's a G-Man strap. Hope it's a good one. And I believe that Famine is the last one enemy left. So let's get our 93 and just try to make short work of this. If I'm not mistaken, they should all be done. See what kind of drops we get. A junk machine gun. Chameleon epic level headgear and and epic level submachine gun. Not bad drops. Okay, at this point, let's just mop up here. We got the oh, not enough action points. All 
uh, actually all right he's gonna head out and might as well pick up all the loot we can so I'll send scope over there or shadow whichever one has room yeah shadow has room he'll go pick that up and time to head home with all of our loot and that's how you beat wavebreaker without taking any hits to your party at all I hope you learned something. I enjoyed teaching it. Thank you very much.